Hey class, what's that? A tweeter, what is that? It's a soft dome tweeter, right? You've seen these before. Hell yeah. This is an audio engine A2. Oh, my name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. So there's a silk dome tweeter on this audio engine. You know, on a Wilson Alexia 2 has a one inch silk dome tweeter. A lot of, it's kind of weird. That's, that speaker is, I think, $59,000 a pair. This one is $275. I'm not, I'm not saying it's the same dome tweeter, not at all. But I'm just saying dome tweeters, have a, they're just sort of everywhere, right? And I'm trying to figure out why in, in extremely high-end speakers. So whether it's a, not just silk domes, but, you know, di diamond tweeters, beryllium tweeters, titanium tweeters, aluminum tweeters, uh, they're everywhere, right? In high-end speakers, cost-no-object speakers. That little dome, that one-inch circle radi of sound radiating uh, membrane basically does everything from 2,000 hertz up, 3,000, or I think in the case of the Wilson, well, Wilson doesn't specify their crossover for their tweeter, but it's probably three or four K, right? But when the drummer whacks on a cymbal or a trumpet player is really wailing, or a piano guy is na nailing those keys, all those harmonics from 2K or 3K or whatever, 4K, are coming out of that one inch circle of sound. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, sure, they can measure well and, and do, um, but is that the same thing as dealing with the transience of music? I mean, that's a lot, right, from, let's say, 3K, from 3K to 20K, all out of that one little circle, that one circle of sound. Now, by contrast, these MagnaPans over here, they're 0.7 speakers, their tweeter is 42 inches tall and about an inch and a half wide. Kind of different, right? So this sound rating, and I don't know what the crossover is, but the sound rating of all the high frequencies from this MagnaPan come from something that's 42 inches tall and about an inch and a half wide. So when I listen to you know, music with lots of high frequency transients, Maggies just have this ease to them. You know, they're, they're sweet sounding and they have scale, they have size, they have magnitude that one inch dome tweeter, whether it's on a audio engine a2, or it's on a $57,000 a Wilson Alexa, Alexia 2, Series 2, whatever. And I'm not saying they're the same dome tweeter, but they're the same size and they're made out of similar materials. From 3K to 20K or 22 or whatever the high frequency limit of that speaker is, from that one inch dome, I don't, I, I'm, I'm just, I smell a rat what I'm saying here, you know? I'm, I'm placing some blame for the lack of truly realistic sound reproduction at the feet or the dome of one inch dome tweeters, right? Now, another view is, of course, that electrostatic speakers also don't have dome tweeters, and they have definitely better high frequency, a good one, a good electrostatic like a Martin Logan, or quad has better high frequency ease and transparency than a dome tweeter does. Then there's the case of compression drivers, the sorts that are used in um, clips, uh, horn speakers, horn loaded uh, tweeters. Uh, and I've lived with some, well, I've reviewed them, and like the um, Heresy 3. Uh, it's a relatively inexp inexpensive speaker by high end audio standards, but it has a horn loaded tweeter and a horn loaded mid range driver. And I'm not saying that is the most refined sounding speaker, not by a long shot, but it does have an ease that direct, radi di direct radiating tweeters just never really do. Whether, I don't care what the material is, diamond, beryllium, aluminum, silk, whatever. They just don't do that. They can sound good in other ways, but I think they kind of come down, come up short with transients. And, uh, and just high frequency harmonics. I mean, do two, two or three K, depending or four K, depending on the speaker, coming from that one inch tweeter sounds like a lot. I mean, it's funny to think about. Here's this Wilson speaker that weighs 
I don't know, 300 pounds or something. And from 3K or 4K, because they don't specify, up with this gigantic speaker with this massive cabinet, but 3K up that's coming ahead of that one inch circle of sound. I just ask the questions here. I'm not a speaker designer. I just listen and hear things and I'm presenting it to you, the jury. You are literally the jury in this, in this case of what's up with dome tweeters. Anyway, that's the thought for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Thanks.